In order to achieve good harvests on a regular basis, a lot of water is needed for agriculture. Ideally, it should be evenly distributed over the course of the year. In Germany, rainwater is usually sufficient. There are only a few regions where farmers need additional groundwater to artificially irrigate their land. These areas are colored blue on the map. In total, just 0.3 cubic kilometers of water is currently used for irrigation. However, agriculture in Germany uses a lot more water to dispose of excess fertilizers and plant protection substances. In Lower Saxony and North Rhine-Westphalia in particular, there's a lot of pig farming. This generates a large amount of manure, which is spread on the fields. In some areas, such as here in Vechte, over 200 kilograms of nitrogen is spread per hectare of field with the manure and the additional artificial fertilizers. Only around half of it is absorbed by the crops as they grow. Over 100 kilograms of surplus nitrogen remains in the ground. Rainwater washes the nitrogen through the layers of soil and into the groundwater. The orange and red areas on the map show the regions that are particularly affected by high concentrations of nitrate in the leachate. In some cases, over 150 milligrams of nitrate per litre enters the groundwater. However, the German Drinking Water Ordinance sets a maximum threshold of just 50 milligrams of nitrate per litre of drinking water. In the parts of the country that are marked red on this map, the groundwater is already considerably polluted. That means that there's a shortage of clean water here. In some regions, farmers have managed to reduce the nutrient output. For example, by switching over to organic farming or by introducing a more environmentally friendly fertilization plan. In other regions, however, the pollution of the groundwater is still increasing. Rivers are fed from the groundwater via springs and they're also polluted with nutrients. The orange and red river sections on the map show all of the water bodies that have an unsatisfactory or poor ecological status. Here, there's also a lot to do over the coming years to maintain and improve the ecological status of the groundwater and rivers.